the defining thing about Mrs. Edge, I disagreed with almost everything she wanted to do. And like Ronald Reagan in America, they shifted the entire direction of the Western economies. You know, strong state spending, strong trade unions, redistributed taxes, all that was wiped away. And they set us on the path to the great banking crisis. I, I just didn't think it would take 30 years to get there. I, I started predicting a financial crisis in 1983. Um, but the defining thing about her is she believed in something. I, you hear so many complaints about Tony Blair and David Cameron from their own party supporters about what does he believe in. And she didn't care whether people liked or not. She believed what she was doing was right and she drove it through and she ran roughshod over all these old establishment Tories, the One Nation Tories, smashed the Labour Party at three elections in a row. And I remember at one point when she was abolishing the GLC, our pollsters came to see me. They took a very long time getting round to the final set of figures and they obviously put it off. And they said, well, we've done these things comparing Neil Kinnock, Mrs. Satcher, David Steele, David Owen and you. And oddly enough, you and Mrs. Satcher have virtually identical ratings. I mean, the others, everyone likes them but doesn't think they much competence. I mean, nobody very much likes you or Mrs. Satcher, but they think you know how to run things. And they took a long time to build up the nerve to tell me this. She did give us one of the first isms, didn't she? Thatcher. Mm. And I mean, you see, I think what's defining is you can't really think of Blairism. I mean, it was all basically media. I mean, he did, he brought an end to the war in Northern Ireland, that's a triumph. I, but it was all focused on the media. I don't think she cared about the media. I really don't think she opened the Daily Mail and worried about what was in it in the way that you know, Cameron and Blair and Brown and John Major all terrified of the media. She just ploughed on and survived a lot longer than anyone would have anticipated. Mm. Yeah. I mean, in a way, I mean, that makes her, or made her well, quite a remarkable individual. I mean, if you look at the history of the post Second World War period, there are two defining political administrations Atlee's in 45, which established the welfare state and Mrs. Satter's in 79, which started dismantling it, basically. These two prime ministers set the agenda for a generation that followed. 